The Constitution defines the fundamental political principles, establishing the structure, procedures, powers and duties of the government, structure of the judiciary and legislature, and also spells out the fundamental rights and duties of a citizen. The 1992 Constitution came into force for the Fourth Republic on January 7, 1993. This was after an approval in a referendum held on April 28, 1992. The Fourth Republic has endured longer than any of the three previous republics, but some have argued certain provisions in the Constitution have outlived their usefulness, while others want certain areas amended. Former Speaker of Ghana's 7th Parliament, Professor Aaron Mike Okwe, who is coordinating a review of the Constitution, says a number of things in the document need to be amended. The transition provisions are just a misnomer now. Nobody takes it serious. Uh, the public tribunals, regional tribunals, and the study are still in there but they are with use of no relevance. And in this regard, the Institute of Economic Affairs saw it necessary to set up a center for constitutional studies, named after me. We've interviewed and we continue to interview a number of actual practitioners and those who are knowledgeable about constitutional uh, issues. The document is good, but definitely it has got some areas that can be improved including the Council of State, for example. The Council of State, as you will realize, majority of its members appointed by the president. And I'm not talking about any particular president. The president, as an institution, mentioned under the Constitution. That institution appointing so many of the members of the Council of State who feel does not make it strong enough because your advisors are people that you can control. He agrees the powers of the president are too much, particularly at the local level. Appointing one third of the members. And some people say that should be scrapped. Some people also say that should be given to women so that they will have a training ground and move on to national politics. Some people also say that we should not uh, have presidents appointing MCEs and this is some people are very very happy about this but they say that no as for district assemblies don't bring party politics into it they too have a point because they believe that the controversies surrounding the party politics is something that should not be brought down there at the grassroots so that people can build consensus as much as they, they want and people will argue that even though sometimes you find some political leanings in it and so on and so forth, fine, they don't want it direct, so that those independent people can still uh, participate. Professor Michael Kwe further stressed the need for a new constitution to make parliament autonomous and free from executive control. It is a truism that ministers of the ruling party, not now, not just particular one, but all the tendency has been that they look towards the executive more than towards the parliamentary institution. And others are also looking forward to having appointments as ministers, rather than thinking of the real assets of parliamentary work. And this affects the institution and the image and autonomy and capacity of parliament to hold the executive accountable. So even the sitting in Parliament, directly or indirectly, is controlled, therefore, by the executive. And that is not the best. 30 years is such a big deal because information available indicates that the average lifespan of constitutions across the world since 1789 is 17 years. And for Ghana's Fourth Republic to even stay more longer and efficient, active practitioners and constitutional experts are keen to having the gaps filled and some removed to make the documents more relevant and developmental. Well, Professor Michael Kwe has indicated that by middle of this year, the Center for Constitutional Studies may have concluded with the seeking of views and coalition, and by close of the year, recommendations will be made for a new constitution. Well, one can only wait. Evelyn Tinkmar, TV3 News, Accra.